So I have a little message for you here. You see it? So hackages love you. Stay safe. Let's hack and lunch, right? Let's get going. So um, I have a, a, a simple way of, of uh, introducing RxJS to people. So uh, you see, you uh, a few days ago, I start a series of blogs where I explain the idea of um, of uh, distributed system, right? Or reactive system. It was more about reactive system. And the idea there is on your phone, you have a phone, you have uh, a, a, a keyboard, right? You have a, a mouse, right? All of these things are actually source of, uh, they, they produce data. They produce data. And once those data are produced, the output serve as a way to trigger something else. So there is this way of thinking when you say uh, when, so I'm going to write that down here. You say when, and then ta -ta 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 -ta, something happen, and then uh, uh, do this, right? So th there is a link between like, uh, so, 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 so there is an event approach in it but it's, it doesn't have to be uh, tied to an event right it just has to be uh, you you gotta think in terms of flow right so um let me let me for example say when you have um uh, your um uh, a notification on your phone right so what do you do you got a notification pim and that notification you uh, uh comes because someone has something happened and then based on that something was triggered to come your way right or if you subscribe to it oh look i just said i just said something right there that notification on your phone so let's let's quickly uh, i'm pretty good at drawing so don't laugh right that's gonna go quite fast so you get your phone right uh we have a yeah, I know, I know, I know. You you can say whatever you want, but I'm pretty good at drawing. So this is kind of your phone. Let me let me copy this, and then uh, we're gonna add a few a few um, more button here. Okay, never mind. So uh, let me pass that. Yeah. So we had a few other a, a few other um, uh, button on your phone. So when, when the, a notification arrives, so that, that notification says, for example, um, let me make sure that that tool is working well. So we have, you have a notification here that says, uh, hackages send you a notification. The only reason you receive that on your phone, right? The only reason you receive that on your phone, it's because you subscribe to it right so you subscribe to it which means that what you actually did you went either on the hackages website and and uh, you start um uh, oh i have a simple error here that says youtube uh will experience buffering oh okay uh let me know if the, the stream is good because i have a notification from youtube that so something is a bit slow but um we should be we should be fine here right so it's because you subscribe to it. So another thing here is uh, a newspaper, right? You have you have a newspaper, and that newspaper basically what they do they produce yeah a newspaper, right? And that's for me that I call that a stream. So this thing here is also a stream, right? The the the. The, uh, the the notification is a stream of data and that stream there are millions of them out there all around you right now if you look around you there are millions of streams just just turn around look at your keyboard look at your camera um, all of them are stream of data but the only reason you can interact the the only way for you to interact with them is by subscribing subscribe to it right so what i'm trying to say here is the fact that if we if we uh, kind of s s sum up this this idea 
the TTIP system, yeah. <laughs> that stream here, you can see it as a collection. Ha, ah, that, that's where it becomes interesting, right? It's a collection of data, right? But there is a, an idea of the time. Here, I'm just gonna say over time. So what I'm trying to say there is the fact that that, that uh, uh, blog or, or journal, right? You don't know when it comes out. You subscribe to it. So when it comes out, you receive it, which means that technically, as long as you subscribe to it, you're going to receive that over time, right? That part is really important to understand, that idea of over time. So it's a stream of data that you receive over time, right? So, um, and if you don't subscribe to it, you will never ever access it, right? So that's really important to understand. And then um, I want to stress the fact that if you think about this as a collection, right? So let me call that a collection here. What can you do with a collection? Collection comes in, it's a stream. So what can you do with it? You can start trade, you can start manipulating, you can start applying algorithms on top of that collection, right? So you can do things like mapping, you can filter that, you can um, sometimes skip some part of the collection. So you can start manipulating that collection as basically, well, uh, it's, it's just a stream. It's just a stream of information coming at you, right? So the map, filter, and skip are basically what Eric's just gonna offer you, a ways to manipulate that collection, right? So let's do something really simple. I'm going to show you in code what does that, what, what, what it means, right? And from there, we should be able to, to uh, uh, demystify the idea of RxJS, right? So now let's switch to the code for a while. If you have any question, ask them down below and in the chat and I'll be able to jump back later or uh, at some point to, to answer them, right? So um, up until now, everything is okay. You understand this idea of data uh, uh, um, producer and uh, um, uh, and then you as a consumer, so you actually subscribe to it, right? Is it something clear so far? Because now I'm switching to the code. So now in the code, uh, what I'm about to do, I'm going to explain uh, what what we have, uh, how how you you will see it in terms of code. So let me import here RxJS. So I'm using RxJS, but there, uh, I'm, because we're in the JavaScript community right now. But you can do exactly what I'm about to do. You can do it with C sharp, um, uh, with uh, uh, Java, uh, Clojure, anything you want, right? So. So now let me let me quickly get uh, something from Eric J. So let's say uh, we're gonna say Eric JS fr from Eric JS, right? So that's what we have here. It's a bit sluggish. Um, we good? Okay, I think something is a bit slow on my computer, but should be fine. Yeah, too many processes running at the same time, uh, but we should be fine. So um, now what I have, I have access to like a huge uh, set of, um, of uh, uh, method, or you will call them operators to, to do some incredible stuff. But look, what, I, what I, I'm trying to get you to somewhere where we're gonna create a system and you're gonna realize that that system is basically, uh, if you go back to, if you go back to the, the, the idea of uh, a producer and a subscriber, so let me, let me show you that again. Here, what you have is the idea of someone produced data, right? And someone subscribe to that right it's it's important to understand that it's just 
it, it, it's just that. That's, that's all you have. So there is, there is a, a link between the two. So this producer here, it's what you call an observable. An observable is there to produce data. That's what an observable does. And then you, on the other side, if you're not an observable, you can be what you call here an observer or a subscriber. Yeah, my writing skills are quite awesome. So sorry for people that cannot read really well, but hopefully uh, uh, it gets better uh, over time. So uh, feel free to ask questions as we go, okay? So that it's, it's important that you understand that we're talking about observable here and observer, right? So let me show you an observer, an observable. So what an observable does, it creates data. So let me let me quickly uh, from RxJS, I'm going to get I'm going to get uh, an observable. Okay, so let me switch the scene here, so you'll be able to see what I'm what I'm. Uh, I'm doing so yeah I have an observable here so that's what we have so what, what, what an observable job is to create data so let's create something right so um, uh, in in the latest version the since version 6 something uh, you don't you 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 basically say okay I'm gonna create you, I, I have an observable and I'm gonna create data out of it so the way I will do that I will just say observable dot create uh, uh, something is quite slow uh, okay let me make sure that so I create and then when I create when I call the function create here it expect me to give it something like a function so let me make sure that we have that and that function here is going to have an observer right it's what you call an observer uh, okay yeah, it's a bit slow, but should be fine here, right? So you 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 have an observer, and an observer is comes from uh, what you call here observer. So the interface observer. Okay. So where does that? Where is that coming from? It comes from. Let me make sure that I import that observer. Okay, so I don't have it in the, well, it should be available here. Observer interface, yeah, uh, observer. Okay, I'm missing something right here. So, uh, yeah, so I'm missing something right here. What is, what am I missing here? Because I need, uh, wait a second, so we should be fine here. Mm, okay, let me let me let me use it differently here because I feel like there is a. So let me create a, 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 another observ observable here, right? So keep in mind that what I'm trying to do is basically saying I'm going to give you, I'm going to create something that generate data, right? So when you create that, you pass an observer, right? So. And that observer has a property called uh, next, okay? And then now I can say, uh, let's say next 10, right? So what did I just do here? I create a system. That thing here is a system, right? I'm just using observable as it's, it's RxJS. You're going to have that in other languages. But the idea there is with observe, observable, what I'm just saying is, create something that's going to generate, that's going to create this thing here, 10, right? That, that's basically it, that, that's the, the, the main idea, right? So what we're trying to do now is to say, how can you get the data from it, right? I, I, I'm going back to the, the, the system. This thing here is a producer. It's what you call a producer. That's a producer, right? Now you need to consume that. So you're going to need to subscribe to it, right? So the way you do so, you just say uh, observable. So 
this one and then you're going to subscribe to it so as you can see there is a method subscribe there and what do you pass as a subscriber so a subscriber let me write that here subscriber is um okay something is quite slow but should be fine so i have a subscriber subscriber has three property the first one is the fact that you, you can call the function next on it right so that that function here and that function is gonna receive the value right and that value here you don't know what it is really so it's just any type and you're going to have uh, we're just going to console log at this stage that value Hopla. so we just need to log it so we're just gonna log that value, right? So that's 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 the idea of a, 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 a subscriber. So now I can pass that subscriber here, right? So as you can see now on line fifteen, you see this. Now it says ten on line on line fifteen. So basically, what happened here is you pass a subscriber on, on this line to access the uh to access the value that was produced right here right basically that that's all you did but that that box here i i, I call it a box what just happened is the fact that yeah it will probably be weird for some people right so if you have uh a, any question uh in that sense just 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 ask if you don't understand what is happening there but at this stage, I'm just saying that this one serve as a producer. It produces data. Okay, even to to even make it simpler for some people, I'm gonna show you something here, right? So I'm just gonna remove that, and I'm gonna say this for fu this function here. Your function you pass here is the producer function, the one that's gonna be used to produce function the, to produce the data. So let me create the function producer. And let me pass that so producer is here so I, I'm taking you step by step in building this thing yourself right so uh, that's an observer and uh, it's complaining because you want that thing to be completely explicit I, I, I don't really care about this at this stage so let me just uh, move the, uh, the X um, any yeah something is uh, yeah, I don't need that I need the TS config yes so let, let me make sure that we uh, it's not really uh, relevant at this stage here because I don't want to bug you because I saw people don't actually use uh, uh, TypeScript so I'm not gonna bug you with this thing right here so uh, as you can see it's still working because I have this function here I call it uh, a producer right it just produces data so so far so good it's it's clear you understand there's a producer and there is a subscriber and that subscriber has three function now i only mention one it's the next one but you can have a, an error a way to handle error and a way to handle uh, the completion of the the thing so that what we did right here it was a manual process right so i'm gonna show you the way you will do that in rxjs because rxjs has a ton of tools to do that for, for you. So as you can see here, what I did, I create something my, myself. I, I built a, a producer myself. So RxJS has tons of producers, right? So let's use one that is that can be useful sometime. Okay, so I'm going to quickly create here a set of operator. Uh, so so that's the way they're called and then you're gonna have access to them in rxjs operator okay so now i'm just going to take one of them uh actually technically i don't need an operator here at this stage i just need a creator so let me add the interval okay so let me add that. So I, I just use the interval here. So what's the interval? What what does the interval do? It's pretty simple. So 
what I can now say, I'm going to create an interval, uh, then say interval, um, and then call the interval and say that for each, at each second, I want you to basically uh, produce data over time. So what is happening there, I'm saying over time, generate data. So interval will just go zero, one, two, for each second, right? So, so what I'm doing here is I create, I, now I create a new producer of data. So we have a new producer and now my my uh, my my uh, subscriber is going, for example, to get data from that interval, right? So uh, for for those who are wondering why am I using a dollar sign here, it's basically a kind of convention that's that makes you recognize in your code, pinpoint in your code that this is actually an observable, which means something that produces data. It's just that simple. It's the way you should you should be able to see that, right? Um, so, uh, so the, uh, it's and then what I'm doing here and basically saying I have an interval, right? No, with that interval, now I need to execute a little bit the code because um, uh, the, the tool that I use doesn't really show the. The, the thing right so as you can see on the right um it just said 10 but that's not what i wanted so i need to save and then run that again so as you're gonna see on the on, on the the output hopefully you'll be able to see that see it goes zero one two three four right it's just incrementing right that that's basically it that's what we're doing here so if i remove that line if I remove that line and uh, start again here, you should be able to see that, well, nothing is happening. Literally nothing is happening. Why? Because it's important to subscribe. If you don't subscribe to that magazine, if you don't subscribe to that blog, if you don't subscribe to Hackages, you're not gonna get the awesome, um, uh, blogs and videos that we release each week right so go there and subscribe actually it's it's on hackages.io okay so sorry for the shame plug there but it's the, the same idea it's the idea of you subscribe and then you can start getting data from it you can start consuming those data okay with that subscription nothing's gonna happen okay so let me let me unpack this a little bit for you right here. So you have different sort of observable, right? So you have different sort of uh, uh, data producer. The first one is what you will call the cold producer, cold. And you have the one you call the hot producer, right? So uh, let me make sure that we are well aligned here. So I'm talking about cold versus hot producer, right? And let's call that data producer. So what are they, right? A cold producer is a producer that doesn't uh, do anything until you ask for it. It's just that simple. A hot producer is Whenever it's supposed to start, it starts. It doesn't wait for anyone to connect to it. So let me take a, an example of that. If I, if I, I, this live, this uh, live stream right now, if I send that to someone anywhere in the world right now and they, they join this session, they will be watching this session exactly where we at. They're not starting from the beginning, right? That's basically a hot producer. Right, so the, the the live live YouTube session is a hot producer, right? We produce data. It's like you go to a movie theater. When you arrive in a movie, if you arrive ten minutes late, I'm sorry, the movie not just gonna restart because you just arrived. No, no, it won't. The movie will just continue. So you arrive and you join the session. However. A hot, a, a cold producer has, the, the, uh, uh, it's basically a YouTube video, not a live stream. If I send you a YouTube video and I send that to all of you right now, 
and you start playing it at your time, you're gonna start from the beginning, right? So let me let me show you that in in, in practice, right? So here I'm gonna say a sub one, okay, and then this is gonna be sub two. Right, so I, I, I'm basically saying subscriber one versus subscriber two. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So now, uh, if I say here uh, sub one, okay, and then I go, I put the set time out here, and then I say uh, after, let's say after five seconds. Uh, five seconds is that I want to to do exactly this and then say this is going to be sub two right so that's what that's just what I'm doing here I'm saying uh, 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 line 29 subscription the first one subscribe and five minutes in five seconds later the second one subscribe right so let me hide here something that's gonna uh, we're gonna use to recognize that this is a sub to sub two okay and uh let me replace that with this and then we can say here uh sub one okay so let me run that and we're going to see that sub one start. So sub one is on the go. We good, we good. And then you see sub two start, but sub two start at zero. You see that? It's really important that you understand what it, what just happened there, right? So that's the idea of a cold, a a a, a cold uh, pro data producer, right? Until 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 you ask for it, there is nothing happening. It doesn't produce anything, right? So, one last thing that I want you to understand is because you can subscribe to it, you can also unsubscribe from it. Okay, this is really important, and the way you do that, it's literally simple. You will say here you're going to have what you call a subscription, right? And that subscription, what you do, you just say, okay, I have a subscription. And let's say after this one I started, I just want to call that subscription and then say unsubscribe, right? So that, that's, that's, an, that's just a way of showing that, okay, you can get, you can unsubscribe from a stream, which you actually don't do usually. You just subscribe on blogs and whatever, and then you forget that. You just forget that oh, I subscribe to this, right? So look what's going to happen there. Uh, it starts and it's going to say zero, one, two, three, four, and then it, it stopped and you can see sub two has started now and st sub two didn't unsubscribe, so it keep, keeps going, okay? Until now, you good? You, is it okay? You getting it? Questions are good. Uh, ask them. Come, come. I, I'd be happy to answer them, right? You're a bit silent. It's, there is no magic right there. It's good. By the way, talking about magic, I'm about to unpack the magic behind, behind RxJS, right? So I want, to, I want to invite you to code with me for a few seconds now. Um, so now let's go here. You see, this code is working. Now, what I want to do, what I want to do, I want to remove this line, which means I want to remove this line and be able to have this code working, still working, right? So let me comment out this as well. Okay. I want to remove this, this library, RxJS, and then still have my code working. So, it's 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 just it's, this is just simple code, right? That's ju that's just the idea. We I want to be able to make sure that my my point there is to make this interval work. That's it. That's all it's about, right? So uh, before getting to that interval, before getting there, I'm gonna show you something that's gonna help in the pro. And 
I'm gonna build it manually myself. So let me call that interval, right? So we have our interval, right? You see it. And what I want to do, challenge accepted. Yeah, good, very good. Uh, you, you're good. You, uh, I just want to get uh, lean. Feels like this week you're a bit, uh, you're a bit quiet, right? Feel free to ask questions. You always have so many questions in there. Uh, yeah, can it? Jump on, questions are good if, if it's not clear, but I think for most of people so far, it should be clear, right? So the challenge here is to say, uh, we're gonna get rid of RxJS and, sh and the program should still work. And by the time we're done, we should be done with the session, right? Okay. So what is, what's going to happen? I comment out interval right here, right? So what I'm about to do is basically saying, how can you use, how can you create a producer that produce intervals? That's it. That's all I'm about to do here. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, so as we can see here, we have a function. We pass a function. That function is called a producer. So I'm going to call that an interval producer. Let me, let me go back here and then select, uh, that 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 those two function and I'm gonna call that interval producer. Right? So that's it. I, I, I'm just changing the name here to match what we're trying to do, right? So it doesn't change much. We're gonna receive an observer, right? And an observer to make it pretty simple, an observer is an interface. So I'm gonna give it that interface observer right and i'm going to say there is a next function that takes a value we don't know really which kind of uh, value is it and i can just use any here for the moment yeah 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 the 50 cents i still i'm still there but i can make it super simple as well in a in a way right so i can just say here this of type t and then uh, you're gonna have t here and actually void here because we don't really care about uh, what comes out of it, right? So I'm saving my 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 money right there, right? Um, so challenge accepted. So now we have this thing is an observer. Observer, yeah. So we should be good now. So why aren't you happy? You're not happy because yeah, I need to tell that. We don't know. Uh, ah, okay. Let me put it here and then say this could be any. Ah, yeah. okay. So uh, we 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 have already one step. So what does that do? What it's it's important that I zoom in in here because that's where the magic is going to happen. So in JavaScript, there is a way to create intervals that basically says set interval right and then you can say for each um whatever second so let's say for each second here um this is good yeah okay so what i want to do here i want to say i'm gonna create i'm gonna create a simple counter right start at zero and then uh call my observer dot next right and i'm gonna call my counter uh and increment that counter here right so uh, i can just do that this way and if i do so uh you can you will see that uh now technically what is happening is the fact that uh our counter is being incremented and the value is passed right here right so if we go back and run this code we should be able to see that um, the the yeah it's it's counting right so we we actually uh, got rid rid of uh, we 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 got rid of the, the this interval right so let's clean a little bit uh, I'm gonna keep one I'm gonna keep one one sub because we don't need that many so you understand so it's just a way to make some space to create some space here for you to focus on what we're trying to achieve right so that is one step we have an interval producer right so uh, and and uh, as you yeah as you probably saw 
if you have an, a producer, you should be able to stop it, right? The way you, the way you do it, you're basically saying, I'm gonna return a subscriber from the observer, right? So now, challenge accepted. Let me remove this and let me remove this. Ha ha. So what do we have? Things are crashing. What do we have now? We're almost there. We're almost there. It's gonna take two minutes to build this. So I want you have I want to have your inputs now. What do you think we're doing? What do we, what, what am I supposed to do right now? I'm listening to you. Come on, Philip. Go ahead. Peter, you wanna help? Yeah, no, Peter, Peter, Peter knows already. So <sighs> Okay, tell me, tell me what I'm supposed to do right here. It, this is this is literally code. It's just code. There is no RxJS there. What I'm trying to do, I'm just trying to, uh, like, unravel, remove that magical stuff happening behind the scene, right? Right. So we have a simple, we have a, a kind of an error right here, right? So uh, what I what I can do now, I can just say. I'm going to create this interval. What is that? This, this observable. So I'm just gonna say, uh, let me create a class and let's call that class observable. Okay. That's it. So we have a class, okay? So that's one, one thing. <laughs> now, what else? Uh, create a class observable, okay? Uh, that sounds pretty good. And you can see the constructor takes a function, right? So what we can do here, we just do constructor and we're going to pass that function that we call the producer, right? And that that producer here is a function. We saw that we saw that this is the function right here. So if you wanted to type it quickly, you will say this is a function, a callable function. And it, you don't know what it returns. So let's say it's a void here. And we're going to say uh, it takes an observer, right? So what that's what you're going to say here, right? Got it? Is it uh, so, so far so good? <laughs> yeah, indeed. That's a good idea. Just uncomment everything, and uh, yeah, it's it that could also work. So, uh, so now you have a class observable, but our code is still isn't. St see, you have an error right now. So it says interval dot subscribe is not a function. So it means that in that class class right here, we're gonna need a function subscribe, right? Right now the error is gone, but then he says he doesn't know what that thing here is. So seems like subscribe takes a subscriber, right? So let's call it a subscriber. Yeah, so subscriber, or you can call that also an observer. <laughs> It's actually the same thing, right? So look, we're almost there. We're almost there. So I passed something here that is of type subscriber. I said it's of this, so it's complaining a little bit here, but that's not a big deal because we can just come down below and say uh, this thing is gonna be uh, an observer. So that's just TypeScript. Uh, being like, hey, I don't know what you're trying to do. So if you add, it says any and, oh yeah, okay. Uh, that I don't need in a way. So it should be, we can say here the value is, uh, uh, what, what do we have as a value? We have an interface that takes, yeah, and sub should be, uh, to have next, so next is here, or value t or any. So what is he complaining about? This should look pretty good. That's not a big deal here. Okay, we're almost there. Look, we're here. We're right here. What is missing right here? 
Haha. Come on, you have it, people. Tell me, tell me. Come on, people. So I create a class. I had uh, I had uh, a, a, a subscribe, and and then and then okay, I'm almost there. So the idea there is the subscribe here has takes an observer, right? When you create a constructor, when you have the uh, you create an observable, you pass a function that is a producer right and that function itself takes an observer right so there is just one step missing just one step missing so the step here is basically to say you want to call the producer so you see the producer takes an observer so you want to call the producer by passing an observer, right? So I want this function to be called and I pass this one. So the way I will do that here, I will just say, let me make this one uh, private, right? And then I can go here and say this dot producer, and then sees, he says, I want an observer. So you can pass this observer right here, right? So if I go back up here, right, it looks like, let me run that. So we see that something is happening, right? It's counting. It did work. And if you don't believe that, well, look here, there is nothing. There is no library anymore. And our thing is just running, right? So. What I'm trying to show you right there is the fact that there is no magic. You have a class and that class take a constructor and then you have a way to subscribe. And when you subscribe, you pass an observer and that observer will be called with the producer. Hey, by the way, by the way, that, that, that observer will be called by passing for server. But, but what I'm trying to say there is it's much more complicated than that. Not it's not that much complicated because there are use cases that we haven't handled, for example. So what is happening if you want to unsubscribe? So to unsubscribe here, what you're gonna do here, you're just gonna have to return, you're gonna have to return a, a function called unsubscribe, right? And that function itself, what what that function does. In, in this case, you're going to, for example, say uh, you're going to take the ID of the interval. So it's you, the constructor of the thing, the, pr the one who designed the producer that should say, I'm going to call clear, uh, a clear interval and then pass the ID. So clear interval is a way to stop that ID, right? It's going to just stop it. So what you're basically saying here is if someone want to unsubscribe, they just have to to, to use that unsubscribe here because it comes from the producer and indeed once you do so now you can say instead of saying subscribe and you don't return anything what you need to return you need to return this this uh, 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 this thing here and now if someone does that you're gonna see that on, on the subscription now I can see that subscription as a function unsubscribe attached to it you see that? That function is here. I have a function unsubscribe, so I can call that function and say, for example, uh, set timeout. And I'm going to say uh, after, uh, let's say five seconds, I'm going to make sure that we call um, subscribe subscription dot and subscribe subscribe why i'm not getting it and subscribe it should be able to help me here well uh why not because and subscribe okay i have a little typo somewhere oh that does not exist on void yeah indeed that's because i said here uh this is a void uh a thing so here what i need to do is to create a kind of interface uh, 
and then say uh, this is uh, unsubscribe so I can call it like this and then here I can just have that unsubscribe uh, method uh, so yep yank that put it here turn and then uh, okay sorry just go here and uh, just say this thing we don't really care about uh, what what it does uh, any and uh, we don't really care about what it does here so I don't, I'm not gonna say any here I just say void because we just call it right so now if I go right below I'm gonna say this one actually return and unsubscribe right and now everything should be alright uh, so as you can see now here on, in our playground we call that so if I execute this this code where did you go uh, okay uh, so I oh yeah, my terminal disappear so let me open the terminal again uh, terminal and then call call those function yeah so let me know what, what what how do you feel so far see it's still going and then at some point I just unsubscribe right so it just stopped uh, doing the thing and we did all of this without the library we didn't use so uh, rxjs so that intro that simple intro there is basically a way to show you that there is no magic behind that so the the, the question will be when should you use that when um and for that i have a simple answer so let me quickly switch scene and i'm gonna be able to explain that in uh, a few a few uh, second here um, any questions so far any question shouldn't we have a subscription object um, um we do have a subscription object um here yeah uh, yeah i mean here i'm just returning that thing here so it's a, it's an object that i'm returning so um here you're saying i'm just saying okay that's an interface i'm just typing the return thing here but uh you're right we can actually say this should be an object with uh, uh, a subscription in there you're right you're right that's completely correct so um uh, so let me let me check if, if you have any question uh so what i'm trying to show you uh now is the fact that um uh, the, the question is when should you use that when should you use rxjs so um in in uh, not next week but the week after uh, i'm gonna lead another rxjs session and i'm gonna show you one scenario where this could be really valuable so the the uh all of you do uh, state management in your application right you, you you've done that you, this is something you 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 do uh, if you do react angular it doesn't matter of UGS you have that in there so um, if you if you think uh, angular for example you're gonna say ngrx is a uh, use it right you have a thing called redux that you all know if you don't uh, it's probably because you you didn't start programming um, the, like the last year or two, but Redux has been around and has dictated by far the the, the world of uh, state management. But there is a thing called Redux uh, observable. So um, let me Redux observable, right? That's that's one one thing. Uh, you're gonna have a thing called Vuex. I believe that's the way it's written in view as you can you can see here and um uh, that that the, the the question there is where could you use that where and why would you use it once again think about a few systems that needs to communicate with each other so system system one system two system three right so they're going to be sending messages to each other right so what they do this so this one this one here is for example um think about them as doors so you this is a door this is another door 
you're gonna have like four doors per per thing here so you got what is happening is the fact that each of these system um, create a pipe of communication right to communicate with 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 one system right and that pipe here when they open it it's basically saying each of them one two three four they're completely independent they, they're isolated they're, they're basically the, the the idea you should think about is they will just produce the data based on the, the algorithm that is encapsulated in there and whenever those data are produced the way for two to get data from one, it's going to subscribe to it. So if you think about it, your application where you typing in the in the uh, you typing on the keyboard, it's system one, right? It, it's the system one, and then you're gonna have system two that is, for example, um, the um, your your backend that react to whatever a user is typing. Right or basically or your front end. Right? Think about it. Right, your front end that react to uh, someone typing. So what you do there, you basically saying someone is typing system one, but that typing there is just in the box. Until someone subscribe to that, you're just typing in in the in the vacuum, right? And then system two will be your front end that says, oh, someone is typing, meaning when someone is typing what should i do so they subscribe to it and they start receiving the data and then with that data they can connect to system three which is for example your back end so what is happening at that moment they're basically saying oh okay um some new data arrived so let me do some connection there and and start um, uh, making http calls so whatever you want right and then System three is gonna connect to system four, saying, "Okay, uh, the the database where the data are stored, it's also a reactive system. It's it's an idol. Until you ask for it, it doesn't produce anything. So you start connecting. Uh, this this thing here is basically showing how you connect those system, but in a reactive way. So what you're doing there, you just said, I'm gonna create one chain." that goes from this one to the, to the two, and then the only thing people that wants the data coming from it do, they go here and they subscribe to this entire system, right? So that's what they do. They, they don't subscribe to one or three or four, no. They subscribe to the whole system. This is actually the thing that makes Eric just difficult for most of people because they don't get the where do I subscribe if I got data from one do I subscribe right away or I I wait the I wait to get the data from two and data from three and data from four okay I'm gonna take five more minutes and I'm going to show you that in a in a simple example for example uh, in a simple example obviously uh, so you are able if you if you have question mobex is uh, one of the tools that do that yeah mobex is one of the tools that you can add right here so let me write that down here uh, yeah you have mobex here and there, there are so many other tools right to to do st state management there and they use that principle of reactive programming and behind the scene, they use they use rxjs but once again in dotnet in many other languages uh you have that already you have libraries that support that okay uh ngsx yeah indeed yeah there there is another one here uh ricardo just mentioned that's another one that does it right so um the, 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 i i i think here it's it's quite clear so let me quickly do something here i'm gonna show you uh in code uh what I'm, i was trying to say and we're going to stop there and you can go back to work okay so uh, a system that says for example um, let me import here um, yeah so let me import from rxjs okay so let me say uh, okay my 
code editor is freezing again, but it should be fine. Okay, so it's back to normal, okay. So uh, what do I need here? I need interval. I'm just gonna use interval right here. Okay, so that, that's one. So what I'm going to do there and to, is to say, I'm going to receive, um, um, I'm gonna have an interval here and each, each second, for, for each second, I'm gonna filter the the, uh, the 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 thing that comes in and then multiply. I'm gonna filter by removing all the event number, and then for each of them, I'm going to to uh, multiply them time two, right? Something double, right? Just double them. So the way you do that, you're gonna say uh, I'm gonna pipe them. So uh, let me pipe it here. Okay, I have a typo, so that's why it's not working. So what I'm what I'm doing here is just saying I'm going to filter them, and and uh, what, what does filter do? It's just you. It's it's a function. You're going to say, um, you you're going to remove things that you don't want. So I'm just gonna say, uh, return for each x. Um, let's say. Uh, uh, I'm two, right? So I'm just gonna do this. Uh, yeah, and then I need to import filter here. And then filter comes from operator, right? So um, is that right? So I have it. It's correct here. No very much is. Uh, what is he saying? You need a predicate. So uh, and it should return must be of type predicate. Am I missing something here? Uh, pretty much, yeah, I do. Uh, uh, yeah, I, okay, so what do you, oh yeah, okay, okay, that I, that I understand here. So um, here I need to give it something that has a number, a value number, index number, because it's going to receive something of type number. So value is a number. Uh, yeah, so X is going to be a number if you want it. And then uh, we don't need the index. Yeah, and then I need to return something of type. Yeah, this, this should work. This should definitely work. So let's say um, cost observable here, right? So that's what I'm doing here. Uh, this should be completely all right and I'm going to subscribe and just pass uh, a function. So the next function, I'm just gonna pass it here and say, oh, I don't even need the next function. I can just say console log, that's it. I can just do this. So if I, when I run this again, so what do we have? You're gonna see like it takes one, three you see it's basically skipping every single uh, 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 odd uh, value here is, is that is that clear so so now what I want to do is to say uh, I, for each of them I want to map I want to map the, uh, the the result of them so some people will come here and then say okay I'm going to subscribe so I, I they will say here, they're going to subscribe to this and then from here they're going to take the value and then for each value they're going to then multiply by the thing or some people will have done this they go here and then they will say uh, uh, they, they will say subscribe here and then say uh, pass a function that takes a value and then apply the filter at this stage. That will be the wrong approach. If you go back to what I shown you in that uh, uh, in that uh, thing here, it will be the wrong value in ERIC.js because you want to subscribe to the entire mechanism, right? Um, and and that's why that's where you, you need to first build your entire system. And then what people uh, during the, the interview at Hackages many years ago, I would I would ask people to uh, to write 
in JavaScript a function that reverses a string. So that function will be called reverse, right? Reverse. And then uh, I will say here, uh, you're going to receive a string. Uh-oh. It's super slow, but no worries. I'm almost done. So that's a string. So what you want to do is basically saying, well, you want to re reverse that string. So what's going to happen here is uh, this thing should return something of type. Oh, okay. Of type string. Okay. So that's, that's what you, you got to have here. So what would you do here? So reverse. So that's the function and I'm going to say hackages. Okay. Now, what would you do here? All right. I'm listening to you. Okay. I'm actually typing code, but you. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I have a really bad news for you that doesn't work. So you just say ABC dot reverse. No. That doesn't work. Ha. So we're almost done. I just want you to help me fix that challenge. And you're going to understand what I'm trying. I'm, say I'm, I'm saying by build the whole thing, the whole system, and then subscribe to it at the end and not having some intermediary subscription, right? So what would you do? So uh, let, me, let me quickly finish that. So then we're done. So. Here, I'm just going to return the fact that a string is, it's just a string. It's an array of, of things in there, but there is no reverse, there is no reverse function associated, associated with that in JavaScript. If you take other languages, you're going to have those directly in the string because they consider a string as a collection of characters, right? So what you do here, you're going to say, for example, you're going to split it. So when you split it, what you get, you're basically getting, uh, 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 you see this you, on line five, you're getting the, the string that is now an array, right? So that's the equivalent in, in uh, reactive programming in ericjs of saying off, you took a string and you move it into an array, right? So now what you gotta do, you, oh, okay. Now there is a reverse function, right? So. I have my reverse function available in, inside here. So now everything reverse, right? You see the, the thing reverse. But until now, I haven't, I, I'm still not done. Now I, this is my system. This is my system. Think about that system I was talking about. That's the system. That system does the operation. And then once you want the result of it, now you can subscribe to it. So how would you subscribe? I claim that subscription here is the join, right? This is the equivalent of saying, I have uh, uh, some data and so uh, they're, they're inside an observable. So that's an observable, uh, observable here. And then don't subscribe. So here I could have said, I could have come here and then say, uh, maybe I can join them or because the join to me is kind of the subscription, right? So what you do, you do your operation, you filter, then you map, then, 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 then you subscribe, right? So that's kind of the idea. I'm, I'm doing all my operation, all my transformation. And once I'm done with the transformation, then I subscribe to it, right? So that, that's the way I see it. That's the way you should think about it if, if um, this is kind of abstract to you, okay? Questions? Because I'm done. And you've been so silent that either you, you, you get crushed, you got, you got crushed by this, or you're so comf comfortable with this and then you're like, what's next? And I'm about to tell you next after you, you ask your question. What, what are your questions? Tell me. We done, people. Okay. 
yeah, we have a little bit of delay there, but uh, yeah, I'm, uh, uh, yeah, questions or concern. So um, now I, I shown you, I shown you here uh, the idea of an observable, um, how you can create your own observable. I told you about the cold versus hot observable. Um, we did our own implementation just to give you an idea of how that thing works. And, uh, and in the coming days, you will be able to see how you can, you can actually start building, um, you can leverage observable to, to, be, uh, to have a, 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 a dual phases, meaning that they can create data, but they can, you can also consume data from it. Um, and then I will show you how to build them yourself from scratch again, because uh, that's the best way to learn. Um, uh, that's actually something we do at Hackages with, uh, for, for the, 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 the new engineer, we make sure that they rebuild a library like RxJS. So what we did, we built a set of tests and uh, on top of the library, and then new engineer gets to actually rebuild the library entirely, not entirely, but a few of them. And, uh, and so they learn how the thing works uh, uh, inside uh, uh, under hood, right? uh, under the hood, right? So if you use any RxJS thing, you're gonna see that uh, a few uh, probably question here. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, uh, pretty cool. Um, so the 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 uh, you have a few. Uh, um, uh, uh, like common operators that you can use. I've shown you filter uh, stuff like that, but there are things called like switch map. Uh, switch map is one of them. You're gonna have things like merge map. Uh, also uh, quite used a lot. You have a thing called tap, uh, which is used to debug. You have the map. Uh, you have things like plug. Um, you're gonna have things like uh, a way to catch error that uh, that will also be uh, quite useful uh, in your processes. You have a way to debounce to debounce um, uh, a pro like a system. So if you have a system that produces data too fast, you can just say, "Well, let me let me debounce this entire thing for for a while," and then um, yeah, you have combined latest for example, as well. Uh, combined latest is also uh, one of my favorite. Uh, so combined latest is one of my favorite. And uh, yeah, you have zip, troll time. And let me show you one last thing and then you can go home. Oh, actually you're already at home, my gosh. Uh, let, me, let me share that with you. Uh, uh, so uh, I go back on my iPad. So here you have, um, uh, let me get that, where was it? So you're gonna have um, a, a, a tool call, uh, what is it? Oh yeah, it's right here. Uh, nope, uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, you have this website, so uh, learn Eric Dress Operator, and uh, this is one of my favorite. Uh, uh, it's built by an amazing, amazing uh, software engineer in France. So you you be able to, for example, see what is happening when you say um, like what what is filter versus uh, 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 versus map. So you see on the left, the mapping says like. Is, is gonna basically do a one on one thing, but filter will make sure that it just take the uh, the thing you need, right? So you be able to learn those operator this way. So if I take, for example, merge, which is uh, also a pretty nice tool uh, that you're gonna use often, uh, you see with merge, it basically saying it has multiple stream coming in, then say, okay, the first one arrives, then the second one, then it takes, uh, okay, as long as 
one of them produces is just merge that into one thing, right? So that's that's the idea, and that's an amazing. Uh, 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 it's the the website is called Reactive How, Reactive How. It's a it's a it's an amazing tool. So people, I'm done. Uh, please, if you if you like this session, subscribe on our YouTube channel. We have um, we have quite some amazing content coming in the coming days, and uh, we're gonna have um, uh, next week. We have Danny introducing you to, he's going to introduce us to a uh, um, web component. He's an, uh, an amazing engineer in, based, based in Amsterdam and, and uh, he's going to guide us f uh, f about for an hour uh, uh, how to build a, a, a web component end to end, right? So if you're new to it, that's an amazing place to be and, and to actually learn from, from such an engineer. And um, the week after, I think it's me. It's it's me again. So I will be going a bit further on Eric JS. Um, and the week after, we're going to have um, uh, uh, people from Storybook, um, basically gonna do an, a, a hack lunch, showing you how you can YouTube channel and um, subscribe on Ikejis.io. And um, hopefully, this situation, this. Corona crisis goes a bit uh, uh, kind of reverse, and we should be able to meet again uh, face to face and code along during our Ag Jam, uh, right? So, thank you, people. I'm still reading your. Uh, your uh, comment yeah thank you as you uh, more than welcome thank you sebastian thanks for coming again i see i see the i see the the people returning so it's great it's a good uh, it's a good uh, uh, feedback there by the way um, uh, our amazing zara uh, that you probably don't see her there but she's she's around behind the scene she put she shared with you she's gonna share with you a um, um, a survey just to get your feedback so we know uh, we know how to improve these sessions right and make it even better as we go and we're not gonna stop anytime soon so keep uh, sharing your keep sharing your feedback and we're gonna make this thing much much better as we go bye bye people